1999. Good year. The millennium was upon us, the year 2000, and of course, there was good things on the TV. A lot of good kids shows from Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, and of course one of the biggest trends of that time being Pokemon and Digimon and other anime cartoons that kids watched. But in this story, a Canadian blogger named Elliot tells the story of a childhood experience from that year. Of course, he loved the shows he watched and would always like to watch them in his own room as his parents had the TV already occupied. His father had purchased a television set for him so he could watch his own things on that. And of course, unable to find his usual shows, he did find, however, one channel. A channel that looked very cheap and very low budgeted. But it was a kid's show, Mr. Bear's Basement, where Mr. Bear would present a show of kid friendly activities. Of course, Elliot remembers one episode called Playing with Scissors where there was two hands, a big hand and a little hand, and the big hand was showing the little hand that you should not play with scissors. Getting the little finger on the small hand, he began to cut as bones began to crunch and flesh began to bleed. Elliot wasn't quite sure what he was watching on the television. Eventually, he brushed it off and many days later he watched the channel again. This time, Mr. Bear was inviting his biggest fans to come on the show and left an address and details for any child watching. He begged his father to take him to this TV show. His father agreed to this and, well, took him to the address. At the address, he discovered that the whole studio was an abandoned farmhouse. Thinking something wasn't right, he contacted the police, and they investigated. This was the whereabouts of Mr. Bear. But this man was far from child-friendly. The police had told Elliot's father that Mr. Bear was a predator in the area and must have got suspicious that police were closing in, so he got away. Many years later, Elliot tells his story of this, and of course, to this very day, Mr. Bear was never found, and for all we know, he's still out there.